Good evening, people. Good 
Okay, who are you tonight? Okay, welcome one more time to our Good evening. English Corporativo class tonight. We are going to finish our module. Class. Yes, tonight is our last class together. Let me share the screen. Well, let's get started because we have a lot of work to do. To start, let me play a video. Let's take a look to this video. We are going to learn how to use can for ability. Can to talk about our abilities. Okay? So, okay. let me start muting your sub microphones for a moment. I'm going to play the video. Please pay attention and we'll practice later. The verb sing. Finally, we can include a compliment at all. Now let's learn. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I can't sing very well. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I can't sing. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. Why not? Okay. Let's practice tomorrow. Now let's analyze the examples on this chart. Can for ability. I can sing very well. You can sing very well. He can sing very well. She can't sing at all. We can't sing at all. They can't sing at all. Can you sing? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Can I sing? Yes, you can. No, you can't. Can he sing? Yes, he can. No, he can't. Can she sing? Yes, she can. No, she can't. Can we sing? Yes, we can. No, we can't. Can they sing? Yes, they can. No, they can't. What can I do? You can sing. Who can sing? Philip can. I would like to explain the usage of can. We can use can to express some kind of ability, whether that is related to sports, professional, something artistic, or something special. Singing is something that only a few people can do, and most people can't. In my case, I can't sing at all. Let me get started by explaining how to form statements with can. To do this, we can follow this formula. Subject plus can or can't plus the verb plus complement. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I can sing very well. Uh, the subject is I. Then we're going to add can. After that, we have the verb sing. 
Uh, finally, we have a complement. Let's analyze one more example. She can't sing at all. The subject is she. Then we're going to add can't. After that, we have the verb sing. Finally, we can include a complement at all. Now let's learn how to form questions using can. To do this, we can follow this formula. The auxiliary can plus subject plus the verb plus a complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples to make sure we understand this topic. Can you sing? First, we need to add the auxiliary can. After that, we include the subject. Next, we have the verb sing and a question mark. Finally, we can include a complement. In these examples, there is no complement, but we could add something like at home. These are yes or no questions. So the way to answer this type of questions is quite simple. For the question, can you sing? We can answer positively by saying, yes, I can. And we can answer negatively by saying, no, I can't. Let's analyze one last example. Can he sing? First, we need the auxiliary verb can. After that, we include the subject he. Next, we have the verb sing and a question mark at the end. We can answer positively by saying, yes, he can. And we can answer negatively by saying, no, he can't. Now it's your turn to practice using can and can't. I would like for you to talk about your abilities and the abilities of your friends, family, and co-workers. For example, I can play tennis, but I can't play basketball. My co-worker can design websites. but he can't program. My daughter can play the piano, but she can't sing. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. <clears throat> okay, good. Let's practice the conversation. Please turn on your microphones to practice the conversation, okay? Please repeat after me. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. Oh, oh look, there's a talent, talent contest, contest on Saturday. Saturday. Let's, Let's enter. Saturday. Enter. Oh, yeah. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? I can't oh, enter well. a talent contest. A talent contest. I, do. I do. I do. You can sing really well. You can, you can, you can sing, sing really, really well. well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, thanks. You can too. Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. 
So maybe we can enter the contest. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Okay. okay, let's practice tomorrow. Very good. Now I am Kayla and you are Philip. Okay. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks. Well, Where do you come to? Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So, so maybe, maybe we can enter the contest. We can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's okay. Okay. Let okay. practice, let's practice tomorrow. tomorrow. Very good, very good. Now you are Kayla and I am Philip. You begin. One, two, three. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, oh, no, no. can sing all but I can't play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Why not? Why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Very good. Now observe these sentences because this is what we are going to practice later. I can enter, I can't enter a talent contest. I can't, what I can, can I do? Talent, what can I do? What can you I can do? sing really well. You can sing really well. You can too. You can too. I can't sing at all. I can't sing, I can't sing at all. all. I can't play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Maybe we can enter the contest. So in all these sentences, we are using can or can't to talk about an ability. Okay? What is Kayla's ability? Play the piano. Play the piano. Play she the can piano. play the piano. Play the piano. Okay. She can play yeah. the piano. What about Philip? What is Philip's ability? He can, he sing. can sing. He can sing. He can sing. Okay. He can sing. Good. So um, I'm going to send you to small groups. So, because I want you to practice the conversation and also I have some statements here to check true or false according to the conversation, okay? Okay. So, go to small groups, please. You have the conversation in WhatsApp already. And in the small groups, practice the conversation a couple of times and uh, check the statements true or false please and see you in seven minutes
Teacher, are you there? Hola. Teacher. Hey, hello, Vladimir. Hola, es que se me apagó el, el teléfono y me salió el, el grupo. ¿Con quién estabas? Con Verónica. Ok, ahorita te envío de regreso. Thank you. Ok. Ahí te llega la invitación, Vladimir.
Okay, welcome back. Let's study uh, the structure for sentences with can. So we're studying can for ability. These are the affirmative and negative form, okay? For affirmative form, we use this structure. First, the subject. Second, the auxiliary or the modal can. Next, the verb. And finally, the complement. For example, he can sing very well. You see the subject, he can, the verb sing, he the complement very well. Observe that even though we are using he, aunque estamos usando he, no decimos he can sings, ¿ya? No, eso sería incorrecto. No decimos sings, ¿ok? ¿Por qué, teacher? Porque eh, estamos usando can. No, no aplica la regla de la tercera persona, ¿verdad? Con los verbos. Esa yes, regla... Solo con, solo con eso o con, con otros verbos, teacher. No, con cualquier verbo. No se usa el verbo en tercera persona. Ok. Solo. Eh, acuérdense que eso solo se hace en el simple present. ¿Verdad? He sings very well. He plays the piano. He eh, cooks delicious. Eso solo es en el simple present. Pero ya cuando estamos usando can, no usamos esta S, ¿verdad? Esta S no se usa. Solo se dice he can sing very well. He can sing. Ok. Luego también tenemos lo mismo en orden, ¿verdad? Acá. Subject, can, verb, complement. Esta es la estructura para las affirmative sentences. Negative sentences, similar. Ok. Subject, plus can't, plus verb, plus complement. For yes, no questions. First, we use can. Then the subject, then the verb, and complement. Okay, and question mark. You see? Can, subject, he, verb, sing. Can, I, the verb, fix. Complement a computer. For WH word questions or uh, information questions. Primero, the WH word can, may well subject, may well verbal, verb, and uh, Complement if necessary. Okay, you see the WH word, what, what, can, can, subject, he, he, I, where, sing, fix. Se la estructura. Para affirmative, negative, yes, no question, and WH word question, o lo que conocemos como information question. Ok. ¿Alguna pregunta aquí? 
No question. Sure. Uh, yo tengo una duda. Este, eh, cuando sea mujer, vamos a ocupar she. She can mm -hmm. sing very well, por ejemplo. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, okay. Tenía esa duda porque lo había visto aquí y en la traducción se entiende como que es para ambos géneros, como puede cantar en la, en la última. Entonces, por eso, por eso la pregunta. El o ella, ya. Ok. Uh, Hola. Este, aquí donde la compañera le hizo la pregunta, donde, en la primera, donde dice, he can sing very well. Uh -huh. O sea, le va a quitar la S solo cuando lleve Ken. Es que no se solo usa. En... No se usa. Simplemente le estaba explicando que no se usa. Les digo porque a veces algunos se confunden. Porque hemos aprendido que cuando usamos he, ¿verdad? Usamos así. He sings in a band. ¿Verdad? Eso. Pero cuando sí. decimos he can sing, no usamos no, in the band. ¿Ve? Aquí ya no usamos esa, esa forma. ¿Ok? Porque estamos usando el modal can. Ok. Esa es la Teacher, que y que not se puede utilizar también cuando estamos escribiendo, digamos, un documento formal o siempre está bien visto escribirlo así, contractado. Ken. Sí, es, es correcto. En escritura es correcto. Sí, porque casi nunca se ve Ken not, solo Ken. Uh -huh. No, es correcto. Ok. ¿Tenía otra cuestión? Okay. Let me go back here. Mm. Okay. Uh, just to practice the pronunciation uh, for affirmative and negative. Okay. I can act. Can. We say can. But I can't sing very well. Uh, in affirmative sentences, the stress or la fuerza de voz in las oraciones afirmativas como esta. I can act. Okay. La fuerza de voz va en el en el verbo. Uh, okay. I can act. But I can't sing. En las negatives, la fuerza de voz va en can. Can. Ya, yeah, la pronunciación es can, here, negative, affirmative, can, can't, can, 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 okay, let's practice, repeat please, I can act, I can, I act. can act, I can act, I can, I can act, I can act. But I can't sing very well. But I can't sing very well. But I can't sing very well. I can't sing very well. Okay, for example, here. I can't play the piano. I can't play the piano. La fuerza va aquí. I can play the piano. In negative, yeah. I can't play the piano. I can't, can't play, can play the piano. Trumpet. The trumpet. The trumpet, I'm sorry. Okay? 
Entonces, porque ya en la, en la pronunciación a veces nos cuesta distinguir si es afirmativo o negativo. ¿Ok? Entonces, la clave está donde se escucha la fuerza. I can play the piano. I can play the trumpet. Okay. Teacher. Hola. Eh, por, por la fuerza de la palabra en can, si sí se puede, es como que al final se pronuncia la T para darle más entonación. Sí, igual. Pero ya en fast speaking, cuando la gente está hablando rápido, no a se veces entiende. No se, no se capta. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, yo le digo, I can't play the piano, I can't play the trumpet. Uh -huh. A veces no se capta esa T. Uh -huh. Yo diría, repeat, please. Yeah. <laughs> Ok. But no, the, no, sir, then. <laughs> but the difference is, where is the stress? So you, I can play the piano, mm -hmm. I can't play the trumpet. Mm -hmm. Vean, escuchan la diferencia. En la primera, la fuerza va en play. Y en la segunda, la fuerza va en can't. I, can't. I can play can't. the piano, I can't play the trumpet. I can't play the piano, I can't. I can play the piano. I can't play the trumpet. I can play the piano. I can't play the trumpet. I can't play the piano. I can't play the trumpet. One more. I can swim very well. I can. I can, I I can, can swim very well. Um, I, can. I, I can drive a car. I can, I can't drive a car. I can swim very well. Then, of course, I swim. I can swim very well. I can't drive a car. I can't drive. I can drive a car. Mm -hmm. Again, again. Okay. Uh, I'm going to send you to small groups and I want you to write four or three affirmative sentences and three negative sentences. And practice the pronunciation, okay, in your groups. About your abilities, you can talk about your abilities. Okay, I can cook, I can cook, I can drive a car, I can ride a bicycle, I can run, I can read, I can. Let's say it. Okay, ahí tienen el cuadrito. Three affirmative sentences about your abilities and three negative sentences about abilities that you don't have. Okay. okay. Go to your groups, please, and do it.
me. Do 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 do. Ah. Uh. Okay. Okay, welcome back. Let's play this game related to can or can't. Okay? Okay. You're going to see some pictures or you're going to, you have to respond some questions. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. So, team one is for boys, team two is for girls. All right? Right. 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 Okay, boys, you begin. Number okay. one. Can you swim? Yes, I can. Oh. Yes, I can. Yes, yes I, can. I okay. can. Okay, yes, I can or no, I can't. Good, good answer. Okay, 10 points for boys. Okay, girls, your turn. Can a gorilla fly? No, 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 he I can. can. No, he I can. can. No. He can. He can. He can. He can. Ah, can. No, no, it can. He can. No. can. Okay, good. No, it can. Okay, good. Ten points for girls. Boys, can a horse climb a tree? No, it can. No. No, it can. No, it can. Let's check. Good. Perfect. Ladies, make the question. I want to hear the question. Mm. Can, can the lion can no, the lion swim? Can swimming. Can the lion swim? Can the lion or can a lion swim? Okay, good. Can a lion swim? Good. Okay, boys. Can a fish swim? Yes. Yes, it can. Yes. Okay, very good. Ladies, make the question. <laughs> Can, can a fish, fish can a fish, can a fish dance, dancing, dance, 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 Okay. Very good. Ladies, can a bird clap? Clap. No, I can. No, it. No, it can. I don't. What is clap? Aplaudir. Uh -huh. No, no pueden aplaudir. No, it can. No, it no, can. It can. Okay. No, it can. Okay, good. Hey, boy, 45 points. Girl, 70 points. Wow, what a difference. I don't know. Ah, because the questions are more difficult for girls. Yes. Why? Ah. Okay. Boys, for 10 points. Can a gorilla climb? No, it can. 
No, it can't. Or, uh, no, it can't. No, it yes, can't. Yes, yes, Come on, yes, it's a gorilla. Yes, it's can. It's flying. It's flying. Ops, no. Ops. Ops. Uh-oh. Okay, ladies. Sorry, Susan. Can a fish clap? <laughs> yes. Yeah. No. 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 Can a horse eat an ice cream? Eat ice cream. Eat ice cream. Eat an ice cream. Can a horse eat an ice cream? Eat ice cream. 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 Can a monkey climb? Oh, yes. Well, it is. Yes. Yes. It can. It can. Ah. Okay. Now you learn. Okay. Good. Yes. <laughs> Boys, gentlemen, make the question for twenty-five points. Boys. Can a giraffe fly? Can a giraffe fly? Little help from ladies. Can a giraffe fly? Okay, good. Ah, look the score. No. Okay. Okay, ladies. Can you ice skate? No, no, I don't know. <laughs> yes. No, I, I yes, can I skate. I skate. No. Yes, no, I can. I can't. No, I can't. Yes, I can. No, I can't. Okay. No, I can't. No, I can't. Yeah, I can. maybe. Bye. Yes, I yes. can. No, I can. Okay. Okay, boys, your last chance. Can a crocodile dance? No, it can't. No, it can't. <laughs> Too easy, huh? No, it can't. Okay, look at the score. You are even. But the last one is for girls. You have the chance to win. Can a lion swing in the trees? No, it <laughs> can. No, it can. can no, it can't. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't know. Si puede nadar. No, it can. No, it can. Esto no es nadar. Swing. Ah, perdón. Ay, o sea que fue pura. <risa> ok. Swing My glasses. Ya no balancearse. Sirve. O como ah, balancearse, ya. ok. No, solo el elefante porque se columpiaba. <risa> ok. <risa> Girls, 120 points. Clap, Congratulations, ah. ladies. <laughs> thank you, thank okay. you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, Vladimir. <laughs> no problem. Guys, it has been a pleasure to be with you during this module. It's a pleasure, me too. Yeah. It was nice to meet thank you. Thank you for the time. Please complete the exercises from the platform. 
Si no han terminado, hay que terminar todos los ejercicios de la plataforma. Okay. Y okay. El, okay. la papelería también para el siguiente módulo, ¿verdad? Mientras más pronto la presenten todos, más pronto se comience. Ya ¿Vale? la mandé. ¿Alguien no la ha mandado todavía? Ya la yo. mandé. Todavía no la he mandado. Yo tampoco, hasta ahorita me cayó el correo. Sí, hasta ahorita me cayó. Ah, vaya, pues. Entonces, cuanto antes le envíen, mejor, ¿verdad? Para okay. arrancar pronto el módulo. Ok, okay. Have a good night. Okay. God bless you. Good night, thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.